Hello everyone. Today we examine a crisis threatening our nation, the impact of floods on agriculture in northern India. We are a team from LPU and our states, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and Bihar, along with Punjab, bear the brunt of monsoon fury almost every year. Floods destroy lives, but more critically, they ravage our farmlands, impacting our food security and our farmers' livelihoods. In this video, we'll explore the catastrophic impact of floods in our regions and discuss the crucial structural and non-structural measures needed to safeguard our agriculture. As someone from Haryana, I've seen how our fertile plains are devastated. Districts like Hisar and border areas of Sirsa, Fatehabad and Jind are heavily impacted. The standing Kharif crops like paddy, cotton and bajra are wiped out, leading to massive financial losses for the farmers. But the damage doesn't end there. Waterlogging post-flood raises the brackish water table, affecting soil fertility. This creates a terrifying double blow, the loss of the current crop and uncertainty for the next Rabi season, particularly for wheat and winter vegetables. For us in Himachal Pradesh, the challenge is different. We face flash floods and landslides caused by heavy rainfall in the mountainous catchment areas. The impact is less about standing crops drowning and more about the physical destruction of the land itself. The floods cause severe soil erosion and wash away terraced farms, making them unusable. The disruption of roads and infrastructure also means farmers cannot transport their high-value crops like apples and vegetables to the market, leading to huge post-harvest losses. My state, Bihar, particularly the North Bihar region near the Kosi and Gandak rivers, faces perennial flooding. Floods here are often prolonged, creating vast areas of water logging. The impact is chronic. Beyond crop loss, prolonged submergence leads to disease outbreaks in crops and livestock. The fertile plains are covered in silt, and while silt can sometimes enrich the soil, the sheer scale of the flooding disrupts every aspect of the agricultural cycle, deepening the cycle of debt for our farmers. To understand the true scale of this crisis, let's look at the recent floods in Punjab, which were among the worst in decades. Punjab, the food bowl of India, saw an unprecedented catastrophe. Official estimates show that close to 5 lakh acres of farmland were ravaged, primarily the crucial paddy, rice crop. The total economic loss to farmers is estimated to be over 16,000 crore. The problem is not just the destroyed crop, but the damage to the soil. Studies by PAU showed that at many places, 4 to 5 feet of sand was deposited on fertile land. Sand is devoid of nutrients, making these fields temporarily infertile. The enormous cost and time involved in removing this debris means farmers have to literally restart from scratch. Floods also destroy vital assets, livestock are lost, and expensive farm machinery is ruined. This pushes farmers into a severe debt trap. The lesson from Punjab is clear. We need to move from reactive relief to proactive disaster management. So, what's the solution? We need a comprehensive, long-term strategy that combines both physical infrastructure and innovative agricultural practices. 1. Structural measures. This involves building or strengthening physical infrastructure. For the plains, Haryana, Punjab, Bihar, this means fortifying river embankments and dikes and improving the drainage network to quickly channel excess water away from the fields. 2. Non-structural measures, agricultural resilience. This is where science plays a crucial role. We must promote flood-tolerant crop varieties, like the Swana Sub-1 rice, which can survive submergence for up to two weeks. 3. Policy and planning. We need strict implementation of floodplain zoning, which restricts construction in high-risk zones. Crucially, we must invest in advanced flood forecasting and early warning systems, to give farmers time to save movable assets and harvest premature crops. Ultimately, managing floods is not just about managing water, it's about protecting our farmers and ensuring the resilience of our agricultural heartlands. By adopting an integrated flood management approach, we can turn this annual threat into a manageable challenge. Thank you.